This is an iPhone 15 charge port replacement. I've already taken off the back, so if you're looking to how to take off the back, go to this video right here. Otherwise, I want to introduce you to this video's sponsor. Here we have Cell Helmets Bar Audio, the Mini Mag, and it connects on to your MagSafe, and it's a speaker, and it is quite amazing. You can set it up in many ways. Back to the repair. First, you want to make sure the battery is disconnected, which is that connector right there in the red, and we'll make sure it's disconnected. And then you're going to want to disconnect the vibrating motor connection it goes through where the sim card tray is this is a us version so it doesn't have a sim card tray it just has this little weight in it and then you'll want to disconnect the charge port connection and the microphone and speaker connection right after that that was marked in blue use your plastic spudger or you could use your fingernail if you're having a hard time with your plastic spudger as long as the battery is disconnected everything should go as smoothly as possible Grab your PH000 screwdriver bit and unscrew the three screws holding down the Taptic engine. Once the screws are removed, you'll want to disconnect the Taptic engine with your flat end of your spudger, and then you'll use your spudger to lift it out just from the bottom or wherever you can get a pry at it. I'll link all the tools that I use in my description below. You don't have to use exactly what I have, just what I'm saying. All right, get your PH000 screwdriver and Y000 screwdriver and remove all the screws from the bottom of the charge port. We're going to take out the loudspeaker, the microphone, and all that. The two Y000 screws are just down by the charge port right on the very bottom. And I just want to make sure you know I missed a couple PH000 screws. I had to take them out. And then grab your flat end of your spudger and pry the speaker out just like that. And then disconnect the microphone connection and then use your standoff screwdriver to unscrew all these screws. If you find my video very helpful, please leave me a super thanks. It'd be much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching my video. All you need is imagination in your heart and a little bit of practice and anyone can fix something. All right, grab out the microphone, and then we're going to get this Y000 screw on the side, and then there's going to be two more on the right side, and then there'll be two PH000 screws right down by the charge port down here in green. And these screws are pretty pesky, and my screwdriver was having an issue where it's hitting the battery too much, and it wasn't snagging on perfectly, and it was hitting the bracket that the holds down the screen, so... I was having an issue there. It might have been because when I did the screen replacement, it wasn't laying down flush to the charge port area, possibly, and it kind of got stuck in there. So I had to grab some fine pointed tweezers and grab it out a little bit and then try to unscrew it some more. And eventually I get it out. After you get all the screws removed, then you'll grab out your flat end of your spudger and get this weight or SIM card tray out wherever you can pry and try to move it a little bit. So we're going to have to lift up the board a little bit. There's a bracket that goes underneath where the screw is on the bottom left of the board. And we'll want to lift it up a tiny bit with our flat end of our spudger and try not to break something when you're taking that part out. We got the part out, so now we're going to take out the charge port. And to take out the charge port, you want to apply heat and I'll put it on the low setting and about 19 seconds is all it needs. You could just rip it out. I mean, it is broken, but the thing is, is when you're putting it back together, you'll want to know where everything lays and you can use the old charge port as an example. And you could also break the screen because the screen has the brackets that holds down the P2 screws going through the phone and it's holding down the charge port and you don't want to accidentally break the screen. Just a reminder, take your time. My video is sped up 3,300 times faster than it should be. And so it's sped up and you'll just use your plastic spudger to work your way around the bottom of the charge port. And you'll want to get some fine pointed tweezers to get out the little microphone that's right here. And I wanted to recommend that you use your flathead of your spudger and just kind of lift out the charge port slowly and gently so you don't break it where the screen is. And you'll want to get off the sides first, and then you can pull the charge board out just like that. And those are those little brackets that it's getting stuck to. Mine's a little bent up, so I'm going to bend it back. 
Here's the part. I got my part from mobilecentrics.com, but you can also get it from injuredgadgets.com. And there's multiple other places, wholesale gadget parts. There is eBay. You could always buy it on eBay, but mobilecentrics is where I got mine. All right, we're going to get the new charge port in. I want to point out these brackets. So we want to be aware of the brackets while we're putting in the charge port. We want to make sure they're on the side of the plastic on the top part of the plastic. So we will lay down that part first and worry about that getting that aligned first before we worry about aligning anything else. If you've done the iPhone 14 charge port, this one will be very easy for you because the charge port is identical from the iPhone 14. All the screws are in the same spot, all the same sizes and everything as the iPhone 14. So I think the iPhone 15 is about the same phone other than that the charge port is USB-C instead of lightning. All right, so we'll grab our PH000 screws and screw them down by the charge port. And this is the part of the video that I speed it up and you can watch me put it together because you made it this far. And if you can put it back together, I will be surely impressed. Please leave a comment below if you found my guide helpful and leave me a super thanks. It'd be very much appreciated and help me create content like this. High quality filmed with an iPhone 16 Pro and an iPhone 16 as well. And that iPhone 16 was featured in a lot of my videos on this channel. And you can check them all out if you haven't checked them out already. The difference between my channel and iFixit is that I'm going to show you the struggle of putting it back together. This part, I couldn't get it screwed in right. It wouldn't align and the screw or the charge port flex kind of lays over top of one another. So then I screw one side down and it wasn't screwed down right. So I loosen it and then push it down and then screw it all the way down once I know it's in the right position. Perfect. Now we can get the microphone put in and we'll connect it on just here. And then we'll grab out our standoff screwdriver and screw that down and screw down our remaining standoff screws. So then we can keep our repair process. Well, anyways, we got to put the SIM card tray weight thing. I don't know what to call it yet and get our spudger and lift the board right here on the right. And then you can kind of rock the board and get that thing underneath the board and grab out the standoff screws that hold it out. Be careful to not rock it too hard, the board that is, because you don't want the screen to come detach. I recommend getting an amp reader if you're doing this repair, because if the screen doesn't turn on, you can see if it, the phone is getting amps or not. Once you have that SIM card tray screwed down, it's important that you try to connect the charge port, otherwise you're gonna be unscrewing a ton of things, just making sure that it reaches. We'll put the loudspeaker in and then we will screw all that down and get the Taptic engine as well. And this is part of the repair where I actually speed it up and I stop talking. And you guys can just skip on to one of my other videos or watch me put it together and enjoy the music. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Perfect, we got it all put back together. Now we gotta test it. So we wanna just connect the battery and we don't wanna put on the back just yet. So it will give you a message if you don't have the back on, but that's not a big deal. All right, we'll turn it on and then we'll plug it in and check if it's charging. Check the microphone, check the loudspeaker, check to see if it's vibrating, check if you have cell service if you're from the UK and then you'll be good if it, everything is working then you can go ahead and put the back on 
And to put the back on, I'm not going to share that in this video to make the video a little bit shorter. You can always check out my other video of how to put the back on to get a detailed guide on how to put the back on. And I wanted to point out too, if it doesn't work and the repair fails and you need data off, you need to send it to this place called Drive Savers. I'll link a reference code in my description that will allow you to get a free shipping label and a free estimate on how much it is to get your data off. Check them out if you don't get this thing working.